Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are getting ready to pack for a camping trip and I've been meaning to do some closet decluttering for a while now. A lot of you know Chloe just turned eight months old and so there are a lot of size changes that have been happening in the past year, year and a half. And so I know that like a lot of these clothes in the wardrobe are gonna need to be decluttered. And so basically today I'm gonna walk you through a closet declutter and organize, and I'm gonna show you some great organization tips that you can use in any closet that are gonna make it look and feel more streamlined and well, organized. As always, we are working with a semi-small space here. So this is our entire closet wardrobe for myself and for Matt. This side is mine, that side is Matt's, and I'm gonna be reorganizing and decluttering essentially the entire closet. I also have some reorganization ideas that I really am excited to try inside of my closet and I wanna share those with you too. So we'll see if those work out really well. <laughs> I'm gonna start by quickly decluttering. I'm not gonna go through every single item and tell you why it's too big or too small. I've done that before, uh, but right now I just wanna do a really quick declutter and so get ready for a speed roll. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've just removed all of the items from my closet and I separated them by category. So I have my dresses and robes in one section, I have short sleeves and tanks, and then um, kind of fall and spring really light long sleeve or three quarter inch sleeves. And then I have the really thick wools or cashmeres or just, you know, sweatery type material and my jacket over in a separate section. Now that I'm done decluttering, it's time to put the clothes back in the closet or in the drawers. And one thing that we haven't been doing that I wish that we had done better at is really streamlining our hangers. We have such a variety of hangers and a variety of different colors. And honestly, Matt and I even have different preferences on which hangers we like. So we're constantly having to dig in the other person's side of the closet to snag one of the hangers we prefer. So I'm gonna fix all of that right now by creating some uniformity in our hanger situation. And at the same time, time determining how much space I want to allow in my closet versus in my drawers. And so on my side, I have three different sets. I have these easy slip on slip off hangers that are great for pants because you can easily slide them on and slide them off. I have these that are velvet that work really well for lightweight or tank style shirts. And then I have these that are a little bit heavier duty velvet for longer sleeve shirts. Over on Matt's side, he doesn't really like velvet hangers, so I selected all of the white hangers for him and I segregated those into ones that are great for pants, ones that have the holes for shirts, and ones that are heavy duty for jackets and thicker sweaters. As a side note, you'll notice that the slinkier clothes got the hangers because they're more challenging to fold. I would rather have firmer, starchier clothes to fold in the drawers. So if there's something that's slinky or has really weird shoulders, it's probably getting the hanger. One thing that I'm definitely noticing as I'm pulling these out is that a lot of these sweatshirt materials are, as I expected, kind of setting into the hanger. So they're starting to get that hanger shape. It's starting to stretch and pull on 
the uh, collar and on the shoulders a little bit. And one of the things that I'm intending to do today is to utilize my drawer space more and try to remove a lot of the bulk from my closet specifically. So I used to be very pro using the closet and using the drawers as little as possible because I didn't want them to get cluttered and all messy, but I've actually found my drawers really easy to maintain and even a little bit empty, which makes them more difficult to maintain when you're folding your clothes vertically. And so one of the organization tips that I'm sharing today is something I'm going to be implementing myself, and that is to consider folding over hanging. <laughs> Now, before we go on, I want to take just a moment to share about our sponsor for today, Skillshare. Skillshare is an all-in-one hub for anyone seeking new definitions of work and fulfillment, especially in creative careers. At Skillshare, you can explore your career and career options, learn what it takes to break into a creative industry, and even take classes to find your own unique creative voice and style. I was watching Allison Kohler's Design for the Job You Want, which is really all about building your creative portfolio, and the breakdown was equal parts informative and artistic. What a fun way to learn about some really key components of going creative for a career. I always say finding clarity is the hardest part of anything you do. So I really enjoy the just do stuff method of taking action to build clarity. And Skillshare is a great place to explore and take small momentum building actions toward your personal aspirations. Whatever your vision, the first 1000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Another tip is to use bookends as dividers for your clothes. So what I like about this is that when you're folding your clothes vertically, sometimes as you start to use those clothes, your stacking of vertical clothing can get loose and even flop over and kind of unravel. And so using bookends is a great way not only to divide sections, but also to keep your sections tight as you remove new items. It is really quick and easy to manipulate and to use in different areas when I need to. Things have kind of gotten a little bit out of control. I've been making some things with my essential oil kits, and so I need to do a little bit of organizing with my Simply Earth essential oil bundles that I have. Mm -hmm. This is what I used to use for holding all of my recipes and extra supplies, but I just got a new shipment of Cozy Earth where they sent me some towels and it looks like this is going to be the perfect spot to hold my recipes and the rest of the supplies in a manner that's a little neater and can hold more. So I added everything that could be loose into these plastic bags and started adding in all of the extra little pieces that are used to make the recipes. Thank you. 
Thank you.